first of all, Klaus's track record, not good. But C Jack 60 hasn't got a clue either. Who would you rather have as a roommate? Definitely C Jack 60, because he'd he clean up after me. <laughs> <laughs> then I could be more Klausish. Well, he well he took care of everything and very innocent, so I could probably manipulate him into doing other things for me. So definitely see Jack. You would be the Klaus in that situation. I would be, yeah. Uh, I'd be the other one in whatever situation you, you choose as well. Who would you want to throw your bachelor party? Klaus Michelson, of course. He knows how to throw a party. Say what you will about him. He'd go all out. Now, would there be fights or even a death at this party? It's possible, but it would be one to remember member at least so definitely Klaus. Is it even a Michelson party if somebody doesn't die? Like I don't think it can Not really. It doesn't count. <laughs> they can't kill me. But it'll make a hell of a party game. Who would you want to back you up in a fight? Either the one man army or the literal army. This is the thing, isn't it? I choose C Jack 60, you know why? As the other C Jacks all came in, I could kind of disappear behind the ranks of them and let them take on the brunt of the fight while I slipped out the back exit. Very smart. Who would you rather have in a book club? Klaus Michelson. He's far better read. He enjoys poetry and he has a grasp of art and literature. He's more cultured in general and just more experienced. Although he'd probably be annoying because he'd read everything before you. Who would you rather do an escape room with? I'd rather I'd rather do one with C Jack 60. I think Klaus would cheat. First of all, I think he'd just smash his way through the walls to be out of there. He's too impatient for that. And C Jack 60, you know, would really think about it. Honestly, neither of them would be much use in an escape room, I think. <laughs> Who would you call to help you get rid of a dead body? I would call C Jack 60 because he would help clean up the body, make it like it never happened, clean up the blood from where the body lay. We knew this worker. We clean up now. Klaus has never got rid of a body in his life or lit a candle in the Michelson manner or done any of those menial tasks. There's someone who you never saw who went round lighting all those candles and bloody blowing them out. After the Michelson sweep out of the room, the caretaker guy had to come in and blow all the candles out, restock the whiskey. I want to see that guy just running around after. Like, oh, for they've done it again. <laughs> Who would you want to help you assemble IKEA furniture? C Jack 60 again. Klaus, he'd have no patience for it. C Jack 60, that's what he does. If you see his apartment, there's definitely some IKEA love gone into that. Klaus, are you kidding me? If there was a screw missing or something like that, as there frequently is, He'd go nuts, <laughs> smashing the furniture up. I'm gonna burn this house to the ground. No patience, that guy. Definitely C Jack 60. He can follow instructions. We know that about him. Who would you rather be stuck in an elevator with? There I'd be stuck with Klaus because I'm hoping he'd get me out of there. <laughs> he'd prise the doors open or, you know, climb the elevator shaft and I'd be clinging to his back. <laughs> Who would you want to give you relationship advice? Neither of them. <laughs> Neither of them. I mean, let's face it. First of all, Klaus's track record, not good. Most of them ended up dead, let's be honest. And he definitely doesn't have any kind of happy story that came out of that, apart from with his daughter. C Jack 60 hasn't got a clue either. He's only just discovering emotions. He wouldn't be a good person to us for advice, neither of them. I would steer clear of both of them for emotional advice on relationships, definitely. <laughs>